It takes so much courage for survivors to speak out and tell their stories. For one, they're afraid of the traffickers finding them, but two, it brings up a lot of really, really hard memories. And so I feel privileged to be able to hear a survivor's story and know that just by telling their story, they trust me enough to hold it for them. My name is Lorena. I'm from the uh, Philippines. My name is Udaya Kanti Salgado. I'm from Sri Lanka. My name is Tige. I'm from Eritrea Asmara. My name is Flor and I'm from Puebla, Mexico. My name is Jason de Guzman and I am from the Philippines. So my name is Pichai. My name is Sujai. I was promised a good job, food and house, and I didn't have to worry about anything. She said, you can come with me and work with me in a restaurant. I have a restaurant. I, I pay you a lot of money. I thought it was a great opportunity to come over here and work with the United States because everyone in the Philippines, like when they heard America, they want to go, they want to come here. I wasn't able to talk to anybody. I was forbidden to put one step out of the shop. Uh, we sleep on the floor. Yes. I feel numb because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do. I had to work 17 hours a day, seven, seven days a week. I wasn't able to talk to my coworkers. Sometimes I feel like I want to kill myself because it was too painful. Like it's really, it's really, like hurt, it's it's really like you know hurtful how she how she um, treat me. I don't know. Where am I gonna go? I don't have anyone. I don't have any money. Even though she promised me to pay me like $150 a month, but I did not get that money. My trafficker often say that dogs have more rights in the United States than I did. She said, if I kill a dog, I will get in trouble. But if I kill you, nobody's going to know and nobody's going to care. She took my passport. I can go. I feel afraid because I don't know where to go. No passport. How can I go back to Thailand? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to go. I don't know friend. No friend. Just friend live with in, in her house. The trafficker said, if I tell anybody what was going on, nobody would believe me. And if I go to the police, they will not believe me. They will put me in jail. And she, she knew where my children were. And I didn't want to risk my children. What she always said, that you can't go nowhere. You belong to me. The day that I was escaped, um, the, the woman who helped me like took me to CAS the same day. and. Uh, since then, Cass helped me a lot with, you know, shelter, with food, with money, with anything that I need to get on my feet. They brought you like, who was going to help you to talk or interpreter, like if you need something. For the blanket, for the clothes, they give me a lot. <laughs> encouraging me to do something like encouraging me like to go to school and the cast help you to know you right and they they make me very strong and independent person cast open door for me cast take me alexander house cast take me school now i speak english a little bit cast has uh, helped me through everything When I spoke like with the congressman or with senator, like when we went to Washington DC, I feel like I'm very important person. We went to Sacramento and we got the regulations passed. So now, thanks to the green card campaign, we are uh, green card holders. I want to be the voice of 
um, the victim because I know how it feels to be in that situation. In this country, you know, people has a voice no matter who you are, even though you were a slave. We all know we've been, we've been in, in a, been enslaved and now we survive, even though it passed like, but we always talk about that and we're still sharing. Free, it's, uh, it means a lot to me. Like, like when you are free, when you become a free, you s it feels like you are a newborn child. Freedom is for me is really special thing for me because I never had freedom in my life. When uh, when I was free, I was scared, but I was so happy. I'm happy now because I have uh, everything. I go to school. I have job. I have green card. I, I everything. I'm happy. Yes, I like freedom. Anybody like freedom? I am proud of myself. I was a slave and now I'm a survivor, I'm an activist, and I'm a mother. Freedom is everything to me. This is, you know, everyone deserves to have a freedom and mean you is free. I want to be part of it. I want to be part of the mission to end slavery. I want to be part of the making of the history of and slavery for good. And the cast uh, helped me become uh, an independent, become like a real man. At CAST, we have the privilege of working directly with victims who then transform and become survivors after going through our critical programs. And that's important because we are able to use those experiences and help survivors become leaders and powerful agents of change to impact systemic social change. Who better to inform us how to end modern day slavery than survivors themselves? When survivors tell us they are now happy, we know we've done our job at CAST.